So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that when a new video is released, you would be updated instantly. So in 2021, there's been a release of a ton of minimal launches on the Play Store and in this video, I'll be sharing with you my top five favorites. So if you're excited about that, let's jump right into it. So in no particular order, the first minimal launcher that I love is going to be Productivity Launcher. Now on the home screen, you have a ton of information, but it also has this minimal plain vibe to it, which I love. At the top right, you have uh, the battery percentage indicator. So as you can see, I have 50%. And on the bottom, the bottom right, we have the call dialer. So you can click that, have easy access to your call app. And then you have some information like the day and the date, the time, the year in progress. It says we've done about 34% of the year. And then the day in progress, it says we've done 52%. Now below that, you can add some favorite apps to the home screen. If you want to access all your applications, you just have to swipe to the right and you can have easy access to all your apps. Also, if you want to look for a particular app alphabetically, you have this option on the right side to use as well which i think is pretty pretty cool so this is my first favorite minimal launcher let's move on to the second one so my second favorite minimal launcher of 2021 would definitely be racial launcher i really love how different this launcher is to the numerous launches on the play store it has this unique set of features that i truly appreciate now the first thing you can see is you know the titles of the different categories that you can categorize your apps so we have creativity entertainment finance and so on and so forth so if you want to expand that particular category you just have to tap it and then you can see the apps on the creativity tap it to see the apps on the entertainment if you want to close everything you can just drag down and then once you drag down it's going to close everything as you can see if you move to this side it has this very intelligent feature whereby you can see your messages so it doesn't matter what platform uh, that particular message is coming from it groups all your messages onto the messages beta which is very cool so you can have access to everything and even reply to messages right here now moving on to this side we have something called the root so you can have access to different commands as well so if i click weather it's going to come up with the particular weather condition of my particular area my entrance is not working so i can't show you that but as you can see i can summon spotify just right on the home screen without having to go into the app which is an amazing uh, feature that i love uh it has a ton of different customizations as well so if i long press an app it opens up a new menu where i can actually change the color option of the app so if i want it to be this neon amazing neon green color i can select that and when i click close you can see that now zender has this really impressive good looking neon color aside that you can also switch to light mode if it's maybe in the day you want something light you can change to this mode if you want to take it to the extreme you can go to sun mode which is absolutely white so that if you're actually directly under the sun and you want some visibility on your phone this can help you achieve that now you can also switch back to dark mode or you can even switch to extreme focus mode to have everything blacked out. So, I mean, ratio launch in its entirety is impressive, has a ton of unique features. I think the final thing I love is the fact that, as you can see, we have some blinking neon indicators on some of them. It actually means that I have some notifications I need to attend to. So if I click on productivity, for example, you'd see that I have some notification to attend to on the Google app. If I click games, you can see similar for eight ball. If I click creativity, you would see similar for photos as you can see. So ratio is the second favorite minimal launcher of 2021. If you download it, I can bet that you will not regret having this launcher at all. So moving on to the third minimal launcher of 2021, we have Material Launcher. This is also relatively new and I generally love the look. So as you can see on the home screen, you can select some apps. I have about eight apps that I want fast and easy access to. So I have them here. If you want to access 
the ton of other apps you have you can swipe to the right and then you can see them it also has the, the alphabetical option for you to go through i think this has a different implementation but it's also very functional as well uh, if you want to get an even faster access to a particular app there's a search bar here you can tap it your keyboard is going to pop up and then you can search for that particular app also if you move to this side you have kind of a widget center so you have the date and the day this is very nice minimal uh, widget center it also has some pastel colors which i do love and all in all i think this is also very unique and i love how colorful and pastel it is and I, we should try this uh, launcher out i can bet you you will not regret it if you do download it and use it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below now let's move on to the fourth launcher of 2021 moving on to the last but one launcher we have taken launcher this is another launcher that i like if you want to show off your wallpaper this is the launcher to use it has a keyboard at the bottom so if you want to access maybe all the apps that start with p you can click p and then you have access to them also if you want to have access to all of them you can click the the asterisk sign and then you can have access to all your applications in this uh, format and swiping here shows you your most recently installed applications and moving further you can change your wallpapers so as you can see they have a ton of beautiful wallpapers that you can choose from and you can also change the font of your whole user interface so you see as I click the font it changes very swiftly which is an amazing thing and then you can also come to the settings and adjust the background dim so if you want the background to have this really nice dim you can choose that it's one of the very unique uh, launchers on the play store that i do think uh can stand or can rival a niagara launcher and this is new i absolutely love it try it out and let me know what you think so the last launch I want to talk about is something most of you minimalists out there would be familiar with and that is Niagara Launcher. Niagara is one of my favorite launches to be honest. I have not really found an alternative for it yet. I do think ratio might be, you know, close to Niagara in some form. If you do want to see a comparison between the Niagara Launcher and the ratio launcher, let me know down in the comment section below. But I do appreciate how beautiful and simple this launcher is if you want to access all your applications all you need to do is just swipe on either sides of the screen so i can swipe here i'd have access to all my applications if i swipe here i'd have access to my applications and it has this really intelligent way of adding folders to your home screen you can add a folder to let's say for example fiverr i'll just have to swipe on it click the edit sign as you can see and then i can select another app so for example if i want to add youtube i'll click ok and once i swipe on fiverr you see that there's youtube here so this is a very intelligent way of maintaining a minimal home screen but also having a folder system aside that you have access to the time the day and date battery capacity the weather so you just have to click it and then the weather is going to pop up you can see your calendar events and then you can see the current weather condition or the forecast which is an amazing thing it has dark mode and light mode and to have access to most of the quirks in this app or in this launcher you'd have to go for the pro version but uh, even the free version does give you a lot of options as well so this is my really this is my og launcher when it comes to minimal launches i think this has been there for a very long time and it's still one of the reigning champions when it comes to minimal launches so guys these are the launches i have for you in this video let me know what you think about my top five favorite minimal launches of 2021 did you see any launcher in there that you want to try out or are you using any of those launches let me know down in the comment section below i go by the name soji gray if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll catch you guys in another one stay blessed